Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Vikas Kohli and I'm a pediatric cardiologist. I'm going to talk about a very specific condition today. It's called coarctation of aorta. Aorta is the main tube which supplies blood to the whole body. Coarctation refers to its narrowing down at a specific point at its, in its course. And by narrowing down, the blood pressure in the upper half becomes higher and in the lower half becomes lower. So it can present in the newborn baby, it can present even in fetus, one can diagnose this condition, especially after seven months of pregnancy. And uh, it can present very late also, sometimes at one, two years, even nine, 10 years, 20 years, 40 years, it can present at any age. So it is important to know that this is a treatable condition. It needs to be diagnosed and treated appropriately by the right group of people, that is pediatric cardiologists, and if needed, pediatric cardiac surgeons. So how does a newborn baby with coarctation present? Newborn baby with coarctation can present in two ways. One is that the right heart blood pressure can be very high. This can result in right heart symptoms, the baby turning slightly blue, and the blood pressure in the lower half of body being slightly lower or the lower half of body being blue. This is one presentation in which the lung pressures have gone high, the coarctation definitely needs to be repaired, heart will return to normal, it takes some time for the lung pressures to come down and the baby recovers. The other presentation is quite dramatic in which by between 7 and 14 days of age or sometimes second, third day of life, the baby presents with low blood pressure all over the body, the heart starts failing, x-ray shows a big heart, echo shows that the heart function is decreased and echo if specifically looked for will show coarctation of aorta. These babies in newborn period need um, need surgery, surgery has very good results. About 9 out of 10 patients will not require another procedure, but they will require lifelong follow-up and which may be occasionally once a year or once in two years after the initial one or two years. So uh, the child can grow up and play normally, develop normally, be normal in physical activity, go to school, do everything like normal children. And just that once a year or once in two years, you need to come and show to the doctor. That's about it. If it presents later on, say second, third, fourth month of life, one year, five, ten years, usual treatment is ballooning of coarctation. Most often it won't require another procedure and um, ballooning will show good results. But quite often it may require a second procedure which may be a stenting and the child will tend to do well after that and will be normal in upper and lower half of uh, the body, the blood pressure and can continue to grow up like a normal adult and be normal in all physical activities also. Though adventure sports, extreme sports, etc. are not recommended. Now, if we do ballooning, usually a second procedure may be needed. Ballooning may also be done in newborns, in which case three procedures in lifetime may be needed. And in that case, the advantage is there is no surgery at all needed. The procedure is about half an hour duration. and. Uh, next day the baby gets to go home. Like this morning I've done a procedure of coarctation on a nine-year-old girl. The results are very good upper limb, lower limb blood pressures are equal and it's widely open. The child will go, is already awake starting to feed by noon time today and after that tomorrow morning the child would go home and can resume normal activity. I think the good point about coarctation is it needs to be diagnosed appropriately and if treated at the right time gives very good results and leads to a normal life. This is what we all want for our children and those children who have coarctation and other congenital heart diseases. And we hope to give good service and good lifestyle to these children. Thank you very much.